and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Five Color Reborn. That's right, we haven't played Niv Mizzet Reborn in a minute here on stream, and we've had some requests. Let's bring it back. This card has just a, such a sweet animation uh, whenever you play it, um, and also it's just really fun to play because playing Niv Mizzet Reborn means you get to play. Uh, you know, cards from all of the colors, basically. As you see here, uh, we have, you know, so many different Guild Matters cards uh, because of Nib Misery Born. You know, we have our blue-green, our Simic card, our Azorius, Orzov, and so on. We have all sorts of different color combinations here. There's a couple that I don't have. I don't have a Gruul card or an Izzet card. Um, but, so, you know, we can't we can't actually get 10 cards off of Nib Misery Born, but that's okay. We're mostly... You know, going to be drawing two to four cards um, off of it. Usually, usually like three cards. It's like about a, a tad less than three cards is what you draw off of um, out of average. There, um, <laughs> Rainbow, Rainbow Reborn. Wow, that is a that is a cool name, Rainbow Reborn. Should have thought of that one. That was a pretty cool one. Um, the one of the new things, like since the last time that we've played this, or like what we haven't done before, is I haven't really played Bedeck. <clears throat> in the deck before but i really want to try this card out it's it's a removal spell for a danto vanguard which is like a danto vanguard was something that we could just never kill like we're just like relying on clarions and kaya's wraths and stuff and could never kill a danto vanguard so this kills a danto vanguard plus tons of other stuff early plus against field of the dead or even against control you have the six mana destroy a land deal two to two to an opponent or a planeswalker that's, you know, that's a whole lot of mana, and it's really inefficient, but it at least gives you an option, and options are good. So, gotta like having options. Um, so, that's what we're going to try here. Uh, we we did have Angrass Rampage in this slot before, but instead we're going to be trying out Bedeck Bedazzle. Um, I'm also playing more Assassin's Trophies than I usually do. Even though I don't really like this card, but this is another thing that can help attack Field of the Dead, um, and uh, just you know be a, a general removal spell for lots of stuff. We got four Unmoored Egos for the Field of the Dead decks as well. Uh, really don't like playing against those. This is not just a two color card, but the Dragon God's going to come in against Control, gives us another very good threat. So this is our deck. We're going to see how it works, see how it does. The thing I don't want to play against the most is Simic Flash. That's the deck I do not want to play against the most. The last time we played this, it was like whenever Simic Flash started to get really big and we just got our stuff countered the whole time and lost like three or four in a row to Simic Flash. That's all we got paired against, and it was sad. Hopefully we do not get paired against that deck. And we get to resolve spells. All right, here we go. Yeah, I ended up cutting the Golos. We, we tried Golos last time, but Golos just doesn't work with Krasis. And just ended up getting rid of it. Yeah, but Deck and Trophy does help the Flash, the flash matchup because we have more instant speed removal. I, I really was not playing hardly any instant speed removal before. So that does help. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Niv makes you want to make a paper deck again. Yeah, yeah, Niv Misery Born's really cool. Definitely like whenever I saw War of the Spark, I was like, oh yeah, I wanna make a I wanna make a Niv Mizzet deck. Alright, lots of white mana over here. 
Arkai's Wrath looks a little silly. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and open the gates. Over there, Monty. Triple, oh no, just two field of the dead, one field of ruin. So I don't care about cleansing Nova. Prison realm is slightly annoying. I'm just gonna get rid of this visitation. That looks like it'll probably do something crazy. Yeah, they're going field of the angels. Field of the Living is our opponent's deck. <laughs> this is a wholesome match. Not sure whose pile I want to win. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they got Naya Field of the Angels over here. I, of course, do not have basics, so that is devastating there. Just land destruction. Just a, just a free destroy target land. So we need to draw a blue to play Krasis or a white to play Kaya's Wrath. You wouldn't know it by looking at our hand, but we don't have very many red and green sources. Red and green are the sources we have the least of. Black, of course, is the color that we have the most, but we have almost half of our black sources. Oh, that works. We'll kill the Sky Knight Vanguard. Yeah, strip mine that also replaces itself with a basic. All right, well, Rejuvenator didn't hit a land, so that's kind of like our, that's basically like our land missing, is Rejuvenator missing. Or like our land getting blown up. <clears throat> so I could trophy a field of the dead. But then that actually helps them turn on their other field of the dead. We'll get the green cat out here. Maybe that'll be a land. <laughs> well, one, we, we still don't have basics. So it's... Assassin's trophying our own thing wouldn't work since we don't have basics, but two, it doesn't work because you can only target permanence opponent controls. You cannot target your own permanence. Hey, what's up, Jay Reek? So it doesn't work for a couple of reasons. Thanks for that resub there. Half a year now. I appreciate that. Sub number 15 on the day. A 
Electro Dominance. All right, I'll take three. And then a War Boss. Hmm. Well, I messed that up. I could also just not kill the war boss. Ugh, I don't like getting them more lands. Yeah, Assassin Trophy is just horrible. It's my least favorite card in standard, besides cards that I actually dislike more. Assassin's Trophy. Okay, so we're going to have um, we're going to be pretty dead here. I certainly regret casting the Kaya's Wrath when I did if I knew they were going to have Legion, War Boss, then Tender Shoe Dryad <laughs> coming up. Wow, my eyes lit up like, oh, they're going to destroy all creatures. They did not destroy all creatures. That is not what happened. Darn. So we actually got to get rid of that Tender Shoe Dryad. Alright, blue mana. Yay. If you show remorse, I'm not ready for this quite yet. Well, good thing we played that Krasis last turn that drew us that extra card, so we so our draw step here was the blue mana. The hero of Dominaria has fallen to some plants. Now what? The plants took down the hero of Dominaria. Yeah, we can still cast Kai's Wrath with this. That's fine. I can no longer stand. You know what? I'm not done yet. So if I do play Kai's Wrath right now. They kept this card on top, which is kind of weird because like Tender Shoot Dryad would threaten lethal. Like, is it another Tender Shoot Dryad? Like, can I? Can I possibly wait a turn? Basically, because I'm probably I'm gonna need to like eke out everything that I can. So can I possibly wait a turn? I wonder what that card is on top. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can wait a turn. Hmm. 
I could not wait a turn. Was the answer. That answer was nope. I could not wait a turn. Yeah, we're doing a 12 hour stream today. Started early this morning with the MCQ. And we are playing some sweet decks now. All right, so they are going wide, very wide, lots of tokens. Let's get another Kaya's Wrath and a Clarion. And I guess Bedeck is actually not so bad here. I really don't want to play Assassin's Trophy. Can we cut this card? Yeah, we can cut that card. We'll cut Oath of Kaya. So I only have six different things that Nimiza Reborn can grab. Yeah, I guess Dispark gets rid of Divine Visitation plus those other things like um, Tristani and Saffirly Migration. Or Tristani and the other, whatever the other thing's called. All right, we won't play all four Bedecks. We'll play two Dispark, two Bedeck. Um, I guess I need to cut one more card. And cut a lantern. Dryad. Yeah, Tender Shoe Dryad. That, that card. But Dazzle also costs six mana for Field of the Dead. Their Field of the Dead didn't look very scary. They're not like really ramping too much. I gotta kill creatures. So we're gonna have turn three discovery here, but I think that's fine. I think turn three discovery is fine. We'll see it. We'll see if it is or not. We do have a whole lot of lands in our deck, so I'm not too worried about hitting land drops. Discovery, of course, can help find all these other colors that we need. Um, yeah, good budget deck for beginners. Um, it's kind of hard to say, like, some of the decks that are, like, the budget decks are going to be changing here, and it, we have, you know, like, normally you'd say, like, mono mono red or mono white, like, some, some of, like, those mono-colored aggro decks, um, even right now, like, vampires, but, like, I don't know if it's budget, but, I uh, like, it's, like, better decks for beginners, but the metagame is going to be changing a ton in um, in like six weeks. A lot of cards, like there's going to be rotation happen. So a lot of these cards that are legal are not going to be legal anymore. And, and we're going to have just a brand new format. So it's, it's kind of just like um, play what you want for, for now. Um, here's, there's a, a site that has all sorts of different standard decks and everything, so you can kind of just 
Um, you know, you can kind of go through that, but or you know, but in a few weeks, standards going to completely change. So yeah, so I think I think for now, newer players, maybe kind of build what you have. Um, but maybe wait a little bit if if you're worried about budget, if you're worried about budget concerns. As far as just good decks that are going to be still around, I recommend checking out my YouTube channel there. I have a playlist of decks called Rotation Proof that the last that I've been doing on Mondays now, I've been playing decks that are completely comprised of uh full of cards that are not rotating out there all the cards will be staying around in standard and we had some, definitely had some good decks you can you can check those out see if anything catches your eye as something that you'd like to play so yeah go yes yeah, so there's the youtube channel there youtube.com slash todd stevens mtg and then uh, look for the ro rotation proof playlist you can kind of peruse those decks i think we've done eight decks so far and then monday i'll have another four and so on we'll we'll keep on building new decks and if you have if you have ideas for if you've been playing like a rotation proof deck that you think i should highlight on my rotation proof monday feel free to send that to me too um you can send it to me on discord or you can just you know send it whisper it to me here on twitch or you know tag me in the chat here and be like and with the link and let me know Correct. So yeah, what Robin said is perfect. Yep. Way to in invest. Like don't. Yeah, you don't really want to invest in cards that are rotating out, but playing playing now is definitely I've worth it time. for learning, getting better, building your collection, all that kind of stuff. Planar cleansing. Dawn of Hope. Hmm. What's scarier, Planar Cleansing or Dawn of Hope? Planar Cleansing isn't really that scary. I'll take the Dawn of Hope. Sure, land sounds good. No, I'm probably not going to be playing limited whenever Throne comes out. I'll be playing brand new standard and everything there. Um, yeah, I just I just play constructed here on stream. Yeah, planar cleansing destroys the planeswalkers, but I can play around it. And planeswalkers already like draw a card whenever immediately whenever you play them, so it's not like like all of my car my cards will replace themselves. Like Krasis will draw cards, the planeswalkers draw car draw cards. So even the plan planar cleansing, um, my cards will still gain value. We will meet again. Yeah, Hydro Crisis is pretty great. We get to just sit here and attack for five until they want to do something about it.
All right, we didn't have any basics last game. We'll double check. Okay, still no basics this game. It's always good to double check. They're gonna use a prison realm. That's a great card to, to prison realm. <laughs> prison realm planar, planar cleansing is not a good combination. Hmm. I guess I have to play this thing. Looking like, how do I get them to actually use their planar cleansing? I guess it's this thing. Not they probably don't use it for t the time raveler. Right on schedule. No time for a break. Should have seen that coming. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked the deck that I played today, Daniel, as far as um, Team or Elementals is concerned. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. No, I don't. I don't have a deck right now for the Dominaria event. Um, I'll probably make something tomorrow. I'm thinking about just playing Mono Green. I just want to play some Vivian, Akbo Ranger, or maybe maybe Golgari Stompy. Like I don't think there's anything on the Golgari Stompy list. Or like Golgari Stompy there that's on that list. Um, people are kind of saying Jun Dinosaurs may be the way to go. I guess there's nothing on for Jun Dinosaurs on that restricted list. Time for and that's a really B. good deck. Here we go. Our opponent's playing a pile of cards. Certainly playing a pile of cards. Oh, yeah, I should have Kaya's on their turn. I just, you know, kind of forgot about Teferi. But, yeah, I should have Kaya on their turn. Yeah, second Field of the Dead. Our Wincon, our Krasis. And niv -Mizzet. Basically, when it, whenever you see creatures or planeswalkers in a deck, those are the win cons. If you're not if you're not sure what the win cons are, the most part the creatures, the planeswalkers, like Teferi is a win con. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so yeah, I, I can. Might be a bad idea. No, it's okay. I mean, that's that's a common question that the people ask: or what are win like what are win conditions? And creatures are always win conditions because they attack. Like any you know, creatures that attack and are win conditions. And then a lot of planeswalkers can be also. This one not so much. This one doesn't have a this one doesn't have an ultimate ability. Let's try this. Down. 
dun, dun. So would I rather have Kaya's Wrath or Dispark? Probably Dispark. So if I play Clarion, they can save their Dryad by giving it plus two, plus two. So this is not a very good time to play Clarion. Do Tuck. It's definitely considering dispersal. Let's slow this down. We'll Tuck. You need to take a time out. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should have just barked. So now Teferi dies. This is hardly my worst defeat. That's more like it. All right, more cards. I didn't play a land, right? I'll just play this thing. Yeah, I'll just play one of these. I could Discovery and look for a land. I mean, Dispersal would have would have bounced the prison rail, made them discard that thing. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, nope, not you. Let's just do you for seven. So we can have lethal. And then I can just either disbark or bedeck. Or just kill this thing. I mean, we just have lethal in the air. Anyway, though. All right, but well we are going to game number three. Do I have Dovin's Veto in my deck? Yeah, it seems like this is probably good enough. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of cool things in this deck. A lot of a lot of fun things to do with this deck here.
One lander. That's not enough lands. One lander. That's not enough lands. So we have two draw steps. All we had to do is draw one land and then we'd start discovering that hits a lot more land drops for us. This is really not that bad. I think we can try this. So we need any land We need the green kitty to draw lands. Any land at all. And we're basically 50-50 to draw lands for these two. Slightly under. But we have 26 lands in the deck. There's 25 still in there. Alright, that'll work. That'll play. That'll play. <laughs> yeah, it took it took me a while. Yeah, I, I spent a spent some good time on this mana base. If we draw another land, then we get to Thought Erasure here. If we don't, we probably have to Discovery. So we did draw a land, so we get to Thought Erasure. Two Divine Visitations. We're going to take one of them. Keep that, even though it's not a white source, but allows us to Thought Erasure plus Discovery. Look for white. We need one more white. <clears throat> we need them to not draw an untapped land so I can take the other visitation. Of course, King J. So hopefully we can make a bigger crisis than what that fry will be able to deal with. Thought Erasure and Dovin's Veto, reason enough to splash blue and Orzhov lifelink. Potentially, I don't, I don't necessarily hate that. Potentially, um, also have to. I should cast Discovery first, I suppose, and then thought, then Surveil afterwards. Those are perfect. I would I would probably play Unmoored Ego also. If you're splashing blue like that, like Unmoored Ego for Escape Shift in an Orzhov Lifelink deck. Um. I think that's an important one. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's the main reason to to splash blue would be like eco. And our hand is now refilled. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna take that. I'll discard that thing. Yeah, we had just turn five Niv. Like, this is a pretty brutal hand. I guess we didn't do anything on turn two, but we had turn three, we had Thought Erasure, then turn four Thought Erasure, and then just Niv-Mizzet. 
and then <laughs> refill your hand. Niv got fried. Bills will do. Wanted land drops. Guess that Krasis is gonna die to a fry. Play the Clarion. Get those things out of here. Hey, Project Vanner. Good evening. That is a card that I guess I kind of forgot about. I mean, if this hits Field of the Dead, that's annoying. Alright, hopefully we draw a check land for the next turn and we can Krasis for six. We did not. Doing four or doing five doesn't matter when they have the fry there. We could lose this. I don't have the time to bedazzle field right now, I don't think. Yeah, we lost. All right, so I should have been playing those crises earlier. Should have just been playing them. Had eight cards in my hand when I died. That's If you have eight cards in your hand when you die, you didn't play as good as you could have. <laughs> like then. So it looks like discarding Teferi was not a good call. Yeah, there were different, thing, different things I could have done. Could have played like a Wrath Effect turn earlier. But I don't know. Electro Dominance and Banefire. That was kind of rough. I don't, I don't know, Eddie. We are Grixis Control. We're suddenly not Grixis Control. I am not going to sit this way. I've got it. That's a good draw. Next turn I could bedazzle a field of the dead. This up as I go. Or I could, you know, get Niv Miz and Teferi in play and get those going. First. do 
Don't make another move. I'll protect you. Hmm. Yeah. So many cards. It's the problem with playing them, is it? You have to just go to discard all the time. Should have played Teferi so we don't draw as many cards. How do we lose the last game? Our opponent played an Electro Dominance and then a Bane Fire and just burned us out. That's how we lost that last one. Wow, opponent's being a huge jerk. Don't worry, I got this. Well, we could be a jerk back. Yeah, we don't have any basics. Hey, that was uncalled for. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Well, this Bedeck Bedazzle card has seemed pretty cool. No more games. No, two, I am one. not making this up as I go. Cavalier Thorns. Get that out of here. Well, they're not going to play their other Yurok before attacking, so we'll just kill that right now. Ooh. Niv miss it. Hmm. I guess I'll play this thing first and just tuck this Yurok with all its I death touch and everything. Let's take it back. I've got it. We drew four last time. I think we're probably going to draw like two this time.
All right, so Bedeck Bedazzle looked awesome. First showing of Bedeck Bedazzle. Four on more egos in this matchup is probably too much, right? Because like they're they don't rely on Field of the Dead as much. You know, Field of the Dead's like a good card for them, but they don't they don't really rely on it. So maybe like two of them. We really don't want to play a trophy against them either. Cards am I taking out though? Maybe I don't actually play Ego? Maybe I don't actually Ego. I guess a Discovery, a Lantern. And Oath of Kaya. This could be tough. Like, I don't like Assassin's Trophy. They have like Tamiya that gets back Assassin's Trophy. <clears throat> they are. They're a Veil of Summer deck, which is tough. Ego is a scam? I don't... I don't know. Depends on like what you want out of Unmoored Ego. You have to realize that the card is card disadvantage. It's And it's not only card disadvantage, it you know takes an, an early turn in the game to cast, so it has a huge, huge downside for those reasons. So you really have to be careful with the card. Like you, you need it to do something very specific. It has to be crippling. If it's not crippling, you shouldn't be playing it. Playing it. But against you know a Nexus deck or a Bandscape Shift deck, where it can be crippling, it's it's worth it. But playing it like against our opponent's deck, like you know we take Field of the Dead, is that crippling? I don't. Know. I don't know, they, they still get to play like all these other creatures and attack you. So not, not exactly.
So I kind of want to... Ugh, I wanted to ferry that, but I kind of want to have to. I kind of want to ferry to bounce my crasis. Like that's why I played this two-two crasis, where was where to ferry could bounce the crasis. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. So I guess we're going to be disparking your rock. the The biggest problem is if they have Cavalier of Thorns. Then I'm going to want to dispark Cavalier of Thorns. Might be a bad idea. Alright, well my plan was to, to bounce my own Krasis and cast it again, but we don't really need to do that since we drew another Krasis. Maybe we'll do that for the next turn. Looks like they have Cavalier, though. Cavalier is... That's the card I really wanted to dispark. Bouncing Cavalier doesn't feel great. I could have bedazzled a green source last turn. Meh. So yeah, I'll take Teferi. Do I want Dispersal? Like, Teferi's fine. Do I want Dispersal? Or Discovery? It's not a bad card to have. I'm known for my excellent not so fast. Trust me, I have a plan. So doing that so they can't kill from just on the battlefield here, they can't just attack and kill my hero of Dominaria. If they replay the Rejuvenator, then the Cavalier of Thorns goes to the bottom. And they just cry to the top, so they're unlikely to recast this Rejuvenator here. Or if they have another Cavalier... Well, good news is that Cavalier is now shuffled away, and so is that... Why did they scry first before casting Nexus? Because that shuffles their library. Why don't they just cast the Nexus and then play their scry land? Uh, of course, just, our only thing we can do with the fairies is draw a card. So let's draw a card before we make any other actions. Um, Here goes nothing. Is 
There's nothing else really to do here. I think I kind of want to bedazzle. Yeah. I want to bedazzle this memorial to Folly so they don't get Cavalier Thorn back. I'm not going to discovery first and like find something really good that they take there with discovery. We'll just kind of see what happens here. Do I have more information on the discovery now. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and discover here, see what happens. Alright, well I guess I could bounce the Cavalier Thorns and then Thought Erasure it away. As I think of one. Let's skip to the good part. It does kind of feel like my opponent has a Veil of Summer with making that attack. So that if I bounce Cavalier of Thorns here, they'll be able to Veil of Summer. My Thought Erasure. I'm still doing it. Man, this arena's been so bad today. Here we go. I hope I'm wrong, basically. That's what it feels like. Hooray, I was wrong. So Blast Zone's probably going to be destroying my two Krasis. We've got to have these Teferis. And go find other things for us. We've just gone through one Field of the Dead over there. I don't know how many they really have. It's only a matter of time. We've gone through... I 
On through a lot of lands. We haven't seen any any Niv Mizzets yet. Still digging. Enough. We need to move quick. Man, Arena's been so bad today. That one feels like it's been too long since I've reset my router, so I'll be doing that after the stream today. Like maybe that's it? I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. So I'm sorry about this, everybody. All right, one and one. I'm going to reset it, even though I know we did just a couple of games ago, but still. Okay. One and one. Uh, people in chat may be able to send show. I'm a little busy here with, you know, streaming and everything. But um, I'm sure people in chat can can help out. No, there's no Kalias in this deck. So if I go Lantern, I can have Reborn next turn. Or I go Othakaya. I think I want to slow them down with this Othakaya. They like instantly mil moved over land, land, or like non land, non land. It's telling me that they need lands. Like they need more mana. And so getting rid of the land war elf when they need more mana. Yeah, because Assassin's Trophy is a really good card to have here. The seven O J Light Ranger. Um, that's a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. All right, this will dig through ten turns. Look for like 
Kaya's Wrath. Less of a problem now. Through this land, we are all connected. Hmm. Harness the elements. I don't know why they didn't attack with the Ceratops. I guess they didn't realize the pro blue. They're like Niv Mizzet is blue. Forgive me. Man, is this worth it to risk it? I kind of want, I mean, I want a discovery and just grab a land and then Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, they could have gave the Ceratops Reach also. All right, good. All right, Dispark, Dispark. Extra Wrath. Less Time Raveler, less on Mordigo. Hmm. Maybe just this. Do I want all these bedecks? Maybe take out a bedeck for a Clarion. Yeah. Do I want more trophies? Do I want to take out bedecks for trophies? I think I can do that in this matchup. Yeah, I think we can play trophy. No, let's play two trophy, one bedeck. The knight seems a bit out of place in the deck. The knight, the knight. Where's the knight? Oh, you're you're talking. Oh, you're helping. You're helping. Uh. Somebody, yeah, you're helping somebody else. Okay. Yeah, you're helping somebody in chat. I got you. So, yeah, so there's. So, Sincho's looking for some help on that deck there. We'll just start with Watery Grave. I don't like having only Shocklands. Dragon God comes in against Control. Give us another Planeswalker and Control Mirrors. We can take out when we're taking out like a good amount of our sweepers. So don't have green mana.
I just took that card. Not looking good. Not looking very good at all. No green mana. Together we will prevail. Rise, my elemental friend. Assassin's Trophy is still killing me. Hmm. All right, running it back for game three. We have Kaya's Wrath and all of our colors. If they have duress, we're in trouble. At least we'll be playing off the top. We'll be able to hit our land drops. Our deck plays off the top pretty well. Even though we have all of our colors, though, because Hinchland Harbor... Oh, no. No, we have white, black, red, green, blue. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We have... Oh, I guess I should have led with Hinchelin Harbor, though. So, no, we, we will be able to play Niv Mizzet. Even if, like, we don't have Lantern, we could still play Niv Mizzet. <laughs> I think I can figure out how to get rid of this Aerotops by the time they can play it. I think. Maybe not. I only everyone is expendable. Uh, I should probably keep the second white, I guess. I could ditch it, though, also. really just want to find Niv-Mizzet. All 
All right, how many white sources do we have in here if I ditch this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I guess we should keep. Sacrifices must be made from time to time. Well, those land land next to cars, including another white source, so definitely punished for keeping the crisis. Or sorry, for te for keeping the white land. I'm not going down on another card. I am glad that's minusing. Because if they just if they just played the Relic Seeker to kill my Krasis and ticked up the Golgari Queen, threatening the ultimate, I would be in a lot of trouble. With that being said, I'm still in a lot of trouble. Yeah, it's nine for the Golgari Queen, ten for the Relic Seeker. Fight them, you maggots! So I'm still dead to this Relic Seeker here. The ends justify the means. I can't. Um... I can't play Krasis because I die. Oh, one mana short of going to Fairy and Wrath. Fairy's a good draw. I have to Wrath, right? Well, let's see. If I go, I guess like if I go to Fairy, Tuck Relic Seeker, then they kill to Fairy. But Relic Seeker is gone for a little bit. But then this thing is about to ultimate. Hmm. So if I go Wrath... Then they tick this up, they tick that up, and then no, I'm still dead there. All right, I am going to go Wrath and play Krasis. Ah, uh, one mana short for Teferi plus Dispersal to get rid of both Planeswalkers next turn. We'll have nine mana. So yeah, Relic Seeker's ultimate puts us down to one. So like, like if they would have had a two, like the two two menace creature, they put us down to one and then kill us. This ultimate is like whenever a creature deals damage to us, we lose the game. So both of them are basically, if you take any more damage, you lose the game. in the seas I, I grow bored with this fight oh, 
find. Oh gosh. Ugh. So many lands. Sorry I'm late. I'm not ready for this quite yet. So many lands. I feel so silly keeping that land on that other discovery a long time ago. It's just been all lands after that. But yeah, of course, how, how this played out, how our opponent like easily hit land drops and everything. Uh, my very first thought erasure taking Midnight Reaper and not taking the Vraska. Looks pretty bad. Now what? I don't, don't think I can possibly... Or like, let's see, what can I do? I can... No. Okay, well... Saying, like, what could I possibly draw? I don't think there's anything there. So, Thought Erasure, the wrong card. My vengeance will rain and like that meteors. will cost you when you draw. And, you know, I kept the wrong card with Discovery, keeping that land. And then Thought Erasure, the wrong card. You know, just those, those two little decisions that I made. Um... You know, making making b better decisions on both of those could have meant that like we could have waited a turn on Hydroid Crisis, and like maybe Hydroid Crisis for a ton, or like you know wait you know not have to Kai's Wrath just like just Crisis, Crisis for a ton. We get farther in the deck. Um, yeah, you know like that could have made a, a big difference there. Um, but yeah, both of those games we lost. We did not find Niv Mizzet Reborn there, games two or three. Game one, we had it. We played it. We killed a, N a Nissa. It was awesome. But yeah, we did not see any games two and three. Yeah, we. that is true. Just don't, don't know if that's the good choice or not. It's just kind of hindsight if we're going to find that other white source. Um, but, oh well. Um, pretty fun here. Pretty fun deck still. Uh Haste creatures are a problem. That's what Ceratops is, the haste creature. That's a problem. Um, especially un unblock haste unblockable, because our only creatures in our deck are blue, so unblockable haste. And then find to get them back, so they have, that's, that's kind of tough. Wasn't thrilled with the Assassin's Trophies. Uh, I will say Bedeck was really good. Um, being removal and Bedazzle. This card was impressive. This was the most, you know, is a card that don't see too much. Uh, we definitely bedazzled a lot of Field of the Deads. And it felt good every single time. The six mana honestly wasn't too much there. But. But there we go. Uh, I felt like we could have maybe used more Disparks. I mean, instead of all these trophies, having some of them be Disparks. That seemed like a card that we were missing. Um, but yeah, Bedeck did some work for sure. All right, that's Five Color Reborn. Drawing niv -Mizzet. You're doing a lot better than whenever you don't draw niv <laughs> That's what we learned there. Um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. I'd appreciate hitting both of those. Um, would Attempsis be useful in the deck? No, not at all. No, that card's just not not good enough for standard. Uh, but anyway, um, thank you so much for watching Five Color.